The farm to fork movement is becoming more popular every year. Elijah Griles visits with some farmers who have made a direct connection with their buyers. In 2022, over 3,000 Virginia farmers sold their meat, fruits, vegetables, and other products directly to the public, according to the Census of Agriculture. That's a growing marketing trend, as smaller producers seek to cash in on the consumer curiosity about where their food comes from. We visited two Virginia farm-to-fork operations to see how farm-to-fork works. As cattle producers, we try to raise a quality product for the consumer. And just hearing the feedback and the happiness and the fact that, you know, I've got some families that they've got a four-year-old child. Before they had our beef, they might eat half a hamburger. Now they're having to fend off their child to eat because they're trying to eat their burger. And Serving delicious local beef begins on the farm. And Jared Burner takes diligent care of his cattle from start to finish. You know, it's just great that we can put beef on so many people's plate and just just seeing the excitement, that, that's the reward for us because we, we put a lot of work into the cattle, making sure that they're well cared for, making sure that the genetics is over time, but the happiness in people's eyes when they actually taste our product is, is the ultimate reward for us. Just a few miles up the road from Burner's Beef in LaRay, Virginia, Chef Ryan Zale and Allie Robinson help their customers make the local meat connection. The most important part um, is knowing where the food comes from. Um, we know how it's grown, we know how the animals have raised, and you know, it's coming, most of it's coming from right down the street. Jared was the first person I called. Um, we've heard wonderful things. I have um, a lot of friends that are kind of in the meat world, if, 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 if you will. And um, you know, I've heard a lot of great things about him, and coming here was like, that was our first call. It's like, man, we gotta, we gotta get a hold of him. Beef isn't the only local protein putting a smile on foodies' faces. In Craig County, Smoke and Chimney's Trout Hatchery is leading the culinary resurgence of the brook trout, Virginia's state freshwater fish. We have a 3,000 gallon a minute spring that's feeding all of our raceways and our ponds. So we're basically raising the closest thing you could get to a wild trout. Um, they're all raised outside in our earthen ponds. Um, they're beautiful fish. We're in about a hundred uh, restaurants and retail stores um, on the East Coast. Restarting a 1930s trout hatchery came with many challenges for Ty Walker and his family. We showed up and water wasn't even on. A friend was like, this is a trout hatchery and I get here and I'm like, man, there's no water. On. Like, I don't really see how this is a trout hatchery. Long story short, we got the water on. It was just one of those you know, one of those just like God moments, you know, you just feel like, dude, this is like where I'm supposed to be and this is like what I'm supposed to be doing and you got to just go for it. And we did. And, you know, it's, we've had a lot of blood, sweat and tears tied up in it. Reaching customers with their unique product required trial and error until they found the right market. If you make a sale to a chef or a restaurant and they like your product, and they put it on the menu, then they're ordering every week. You're not having to try and sell them the same spiel every week, you know? So, and plus for us, we needed some um, predictability just in our market and our production because we're planning a year out for what demand is gonna be. Just over Catawba Mountain in the city of Roanoke, Virginia, Chef Jeremy Smelzer enjoys sharing Smoke and Chimney's trout with his urban clientele. When I met Ty, uh, he was working, he was selling some trout out at a uh, farmer's market and went up to him, struck up a conversation. I thought he was a really cool guy. I bought a couple fish. And then when I took over here at Lucky, one of the first things I had to do was call up uh, Ty and Shannon and try to get uh, some of their fish on the menu because we, we had to have it. I had just hadn't tasted fish quite that clean before when I tasted it. And I knew, uh, I knew right then that we were gonna have a relationship and I was gonna sell their fish at some point. The Walker's Trout has been quite a catch with Lucky's fine dining patrons. Customers love it. Every different setup we do, uh, they buy it. We typically do it whole. We've done uh, lots of fillets as well though. 
and no matter how the fish is cooked or cut, they uh, seem to enjoy it. While getting fresh trout to Lucky was one part of their marketing equation, Walker is focused on starting the next phase of their business. Around Christmas, we launched our direct to consumer, you know, trout to your door program where people order trout boxes. You know, they get like a couple fresh trout, a couple smoked trout, a couple of our smoked trout cakes. We box them up, ice packs, you know, styrofoam cooler and bang, the next day it's like at your door. Consumers can visit virginiagrown.com or their local farmer's market to find local meats and fish in small towns or big cities across the Commonwealth. Reporting from Page County, Virginia, I'm Elijah Griles.